Welcome to a new video, today I'm going to show you how to make a quick VHS look inside of Final Cut Pro. Let's go. That rhymed, but that wasn't on purpose. Okay, so for this example I'm taking this shot from a music video I shot, it's called Snowflakes, you can see it right up here. Go watch it, but first watch, watch this tutorial. And then afterwards you can watch it, it's also linked on the end card. Okay, so this is the example clip that we want to make VHS-like, so I'm just going to take an adjustment layer. Of course, there is no adjustment layer built into Final Cut Pro yet, sadly. Hopefully, someday it will come. Anyways, I'm going to leave you a link where you can download an adjustment layer and also to the video of the adjustment layer down in the description. If you don't want to use an adjustment layer, you can of course also just apply the effects to the clip itself, but I'm just going to do it with an adjustment layer because it's the way to do it. So next, we trim the adjustment layer to the length of our clip and then we start with the effect in Final Cut which is called Bad TV. We're going to drag it on the adjustment layer and then we can see we already got kind of a VHS Bad TV look because it's called Bad TV. But we're going to change the static type from Gaussian noise to TV static and then we can play around with the amount. It's really up to your likings. You can go all out or make it a little bit more subtle. I'm going for the middle way which is about 10 to 15 maybe 12 should be fine. It's a bit bright, so I'm, I think I'm going to go with 10. We don't want to overexpose it too much, but we can of course also just take the exposure down a little bit. This of course doesn't necessarily apply to your clip, it's just for my clip, which was already bright, and now it got even more bright by applying the VHS look. Okay, next we're going to type in noise, and we're going to take the effect add noise. We're going to drag that on the adjustment layer as well. Then I like to click the checkbox on monochrome because I don't want colorful noise but just black and white noise I guess. Leave the blend mode on normal, type on TV static and then you can play around with the amount of course again go all out or just do it a little bit subtle. I'm going to put it on 0.1 which already makes kind of a difference. If you take a look, if I turn it off, there's no noise down here in the dark areas and if I turn it back on we can see there is a little bit of texture. Next thing we need to do is of course changing the aspect ratio from 16 by 9 to 4 by 3. I'm going to do that by dragging an overlay above the clip and the adjustment layer and then of course I also trim it to the length of the clip. And then you can see it just adds black bars left and right and we have a 4.3 aspect ratio. If you want to download this 4 by 3 aspect ratio PNG, there's a link down in the description to my Selfie store where you can download a free version with the 4 by 3 aspect ratio and there's also a 2.35 to 1 cinematic aspect ratio. Just click on the link and you can download it for free. Now we can watch our final result which is this clip and that's already it from this video. That's how you create an easy VHS look inside of Final Cut Pro. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more amazing filmmaking content and tutorials just like this video. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Also, you can watch more videos right here and right here and you can subscribe right here. Until next time, goodbye.